Hello chess fans, this is Rick from Chess to Impress with number 77 in the series Viewers Games. This one is from Tony and Tony writes, Hey Rick, this is Tony. I'm a big fan and have found your channel to be the right mix of learning and entertainment. This is a game I played anonymously on Lee Chess when I was regrettably very sloshed. I think that means drunk. It's a 10 plus 1 online game with a lot of blunders on both sides, but I thought you would find the Black King's final dance to be quite funny. I was playing white and in the middle game managed to force his king all the way to my 3rd rank before I made him dance all the way back to the 8th rank before checkmating. Hope you can cover the game on your channel and keep up the great work, it's a happy day when a notification pops up. Peace and happiness my friend, says Tony. Let's have a look at Tony's game and what this King March is all about. Tony played e4, d5 from his opponent. It was an anonymous game, so there are no ratings. As Tony said, it's a 10 minute game with a 1 second increment. So black plays the Scandinavian defense and Tony took. Queen takes and knight c3 is the main move against the Scandinavian. Immediately attacking that exposed queen. Now many queen moves are possible. Queen a5 is the most popular, queen d6 is also played a lot, and also queen d8, going back to where the queen came from, is an option. But black played queen e6 check, which is more rare. I thought it would have been very rare, but I even found some master games in which this move was played, so it's not that crazy to play queen e6 check. Bishop e2 was played in these master games. That was the only move that was played by white, but Tony interposed the queen on e2. Knight c6 developing, d3, and here knight f6 is a very normal developing move, is a good move, but black blade queen f6 on the natural square of the knight. He was drunk, but still played a healthy developing move. Bishop g4, pinning the knight, and here Knight d4 is a very good move, and I know it's not a developing move, but in this case a tactical advantage takes precedent over developing. It's a very annoying move for white. The queen is attacked by the knight, and this knight is pinned, but also attacked three times now. And it turns out that knight e4 is the only move for white not to get into real difficulties, and that's maybe not such an easy move to find. So knight d4 in this position is a real option for black. But black took on f3, queen takes, and now he played knight d4, and now this move is not as strong. What makes sense instead is just to take the queen and ruin white's pawn structure and then develop the knight to f6. This is fine for black. But as mentioned, he played knight d4, attacking the queen, but now b7 is hanging attacking the rook. And this is quite nice for white already. Black really has to save the rook, play the rook to d8, but Tony's opponent took on c2 with check, forking king and rook. It's a bad move, the tactics don't work out for black. King d1, yes you can take the rook in the corner, but so does white, with check. King d7 only move, and now white could take that unprotected bishop on f8. Very unusual to win that bishop on its initial square. But Tony played d4 instead. That's a strange move, giving up a pawn with check. You can take it, but it's not really going to help black. He has other problems. Bishop d2 and black is still completely busted. With the bishop on f8 hanging and also bishop b5 check coming. This knight stuck in the corner. Black is in trouble. So taking that pawn on d4 does not really help. Black played knight h6. Defending the bishop on f8. But that was not black's only problem. Here comes a very strong move. Bishop b5 check. The first of 14 consecutive checks. And you have to be careful. It can be over very quickly. King d6 fails to queen c6 checkmate. And king e6 instead fails to queen d5 checkmate. So black saw that and played c6. At least it avoids an immediate checkmate. Tony took on a7. King e6. d5 check. And the king went to f5. 
if you take the pawn instead then there is queen d7 check king e5 and this is checkmate so after d5 check tony's opponent played king f5 trying to run away with the king queen d7 check e6 interposing and bishop d3 check king went to e5 another check king d4 and tony keeps chasing the king king takes d3 black takes a bishop but white has enough pieces left to keep attacking the king rook check and king c4 and here i should say that i've received some comments on recent viewer game videos that they were not very instructive and that the viewers really wanted to showcase their game instead of providing an instructive game this game can also be labeled that way but if you want some exercise some practice then you can stop the video and work out the quickest checkmates which as we'll see white misses a few times that's a useful tactical exercise white played b3 check here knight takes and now the quickest way to checkmate is a takes b3 check because if the king takes then queen a4 is checkmate and if after a takes b3 check you play king b4 then there is a checkmate on b6 but after knight takes b3 tony played queen a4 check the king goes back up the board king c5 and bishop a3 check was played a quicker checkmate is to play queen takes c6 check instead if the king then goes to b4 then queen b5 is checkmate and if the king goes to d4 then knight b5 is checkmate nice checkmates here but after king c5 tony played bishop a3 check king b6 and now tony does find the mate in four that we have so again if you want to look for yourself put the video on pause and see how there is now a forced checkmate in four moves tony found it he played queen takes c6 check if you go to a5 then it's mate in one with queen b5 and if you go to a7 as happened in the game then there is knight b5 check king b8 and mate in two from here queen c7 check was played by tony and black resigned he has only one move king in a corner and then queen a7 is checkmate yes indeed tony it was quite funny chasing the king from the back rank to the third rank and then all the way back to the eighth rank with checkmate not a very instructive game it's more in the category of entertainment i hope you enjoyed it and thanks to tony for sending me this game if you would like your game to be analyzed on chess to impress you can send it to me by email to classroomchess64 at gmail.com if you like this video please give it a thumbs up please subscribe to the chess to impress channel and please leave a comment if you like the video, it would be great if you could share it on social media by clicking the share button on YouTube. This is Rick for Chester Impress. Thank you for watching.